I built an entire web app with AI and I'm trying to sell it for over a million dollars. And in June 2025, I packed up, I left this office, I moved from London to Greece with the goal of doing just that. Now, when I landed, the software was only in its infancy. I hadn't spent much time building it. I'd been spending two or three months sitting behind this very desk in this very office, non-stop coding with AI. I've never written a line of code. AI coded everything. And the product was just about good enough to start charging subscriptions. And around the time that I got to Greece, we were doing about £9,000 in annual recurring revenue for this product. All of that sales, all of that traffic was coming directly from me, directly from my personal brand. And this was the goal for this month. I wanted to change the marketing. I wanted to remove myself from it as much as possible because I'm trying to sell this company. It can't all be focused on me. Welcome to Greece, guys. I am living here for one month. And throughout this month, I'm going to be basically enjoying the sun, swimming at the same time as working on my software, trying to scale it, try and make another 10, 15,000 pounds this month but that's going to be quite tricky because there's a lot of stuff to do i'm actually very 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 far behind this month so hopefully today we can start to figure out a bit of a strategy to continue through the rest of the month but i want to give you a breakdown on what's actually happening in the business i'm going to show you where i'm actually working so this is the airbnb i'm staying in as you can see there is a very very strong green theme another reason i'm kind of having to work from this spot because that is where the wi-fi is and the wi-fi in this house is terrible so when i got to greece i had two goals one was to see if I could automate the business without me being involved, and two was to see if I could launch paid ads. Now for the previous two weeks of traveling and moving around and leaving this office and moving house, I had tried to automate the business, and I'd done this with a very specific reason. I wanted to see if there would be any cracks, where those cracks were, and that would then help me heal over those cracks and make the business more secure and stable without me being involved. The problem was a lot of cracks appeared. Revenue was tanking when I got to Greece. There just wasn't really the infrastructure to maintain this. The software product was really buggy, it wasn't working very well, and it was only 5% of where I wanted it to be. So I really had some work ahead of me. So my first port of call was to see if I could scale the marketing. I knew if I could get more customers and I could get more profit coming in, I could start to hire people to help me. And that is a theme of what started to happen throughout the month. So I wanted to move away from just posting endless videos on my personal brand and starting to use paid ads. So we're now moving on to a new strategy, and that is testing out different marketing angles and some other bits and pieces as well. So if I just show you between the figures the 12th and 13th. This is the new market research angle that I'm testing here. This is the product that I really want to build. This is the actual, you know, the feature that's really the selling point of this app. Market research angle is actually doing much better. Right? We're getting cost per registration is about the same, but we're getting a much higher opt-in rate and much cheaper cost per click. We'll do the 12th to the 14th. Look at it in total, $7.58 to get a lead to register for the Ever webinar versus $11, so cheaper all the way through the funnel. This stuff here isn't tracking correctly, but I actually spent $200 in total on this, so I ended up turning it off right because my cost per registration was too high my cost per lead was too high my cost per checkout was like $70 I can spend up to $300 to get a purchase $350 then I break even but it doesn't really make sense to do that I want to be doing like a two and a half three and a half ROAS so then I can scale now I'm not going to go into all the details on how the ads went the long story short is I spent around four or five hundred dollars in the first few days and I made back only about six hundred dollars this was going to be a serious problem because I needed to be sitting at roughly a three times return on my ad spend in other words I wanted to spend spend $1 and get back $3. Essentially building a money printing machine. The problem was everything that I had built up until now for marketing just wasn't ready for it. There was no proper funnel. There was no proper marketing strategy. I didn't really know what problem my product was solving and who it was for. And the worst part is I already knew this, but I decided just to start spending money on ads. And I had burnt through $1,500, $2,000 on ads before I decided just to give up with this completely. Now throughout the month, there was a massive theme and I was thinking in my head about exiting. My old ultimate goal is to produce as much value in this company as I can, build the systems that makes this company valuable and ultimately exit. And I think I just dived in a little bit too quickly. The marketing funnel just wasn't good enough to be able to scale either. Now, although it was an incredibly stressful time working in Greece with very little internet and not really a lot of direction, so much of my time was just spent sort of zoomed out. I wasn't focused. And that's what my brain was used to, being wired in and focused either on coding or on marketing. And I'd got to Greece and it was a completely new environment and there was nothing for me to focus on. I just didn't know what needed to be done. But the good news was one stipulation I had when I got that villa was it had to be near the beach. Speak to 
Because for me, when I get stressed, being able to go down to the sea, go for a swim, the only thing my mind can do is just think through problems. And that was actually one of the best things that I could have done throughout this month. So things started to improve. If you know me and you know my videos, and you know how I've been doing the marketing, I use webinars to sell this software. So I actually went back up to the villa and over the next few days, I ran a live webinar. All of those webinar, all of those leads, again, came from my personal brand. For me, this wasn't ideal, but I just needed to make some money. And the good news is it made some money. I made, I think about 1,800 pounds in a 24 hour period from that webinar. All of these yearly subscriptions for my software. So I knew that I had some money coming in and I knew that if all things didn't work out, I could always go back to what was working before, but this wasn't good enough for me. So at this point, I decided I needed to find who my ideal customer was. If I knew that, it would be so much easier to market this product. So I actually got to work and I started building and coding out a new feature for CodeSpring. It was essentially a market research tool. The idea being if you're a beginner and you don't know what tool to build, you don't know what app to build, CodeSpring could help you figure out what that tool is, do the market research for you and tell you if it was worth building. All of the infrastructure that I had built so far into the app was designed to support this idea, this feature for the product. There was a massive problem though, because it had to monetize as I was building, the webinar and all the marketing that I had done was for a completely different set of features. So if I went and built out this new feature, I would have to restart all of my marketing. But I made one of my first stupid decisions of the month. I decided to build that feature anyway. What's crazy about all of this, it was a really cool feature. It was incredibly complicated mix of AI agents that would research Reddit, search the web, find forums and see what people are talking about your idea and tell you if your idea is good or bad. The problem was this is an incredibly complicated tool to build. And the even bigger problem, I was using AI to code all of this for me. So I would dive in and out of this. And while I was developing every now and again, I would start thinking about marketing. And it was just this constant flipping between development and marketing, development and marketing. Now I needed to scale this business quickly. I'd already tried paid ads. That was my strategy to scale fast, but that wasn't working. And I thought, and I'm not really sure why this would be a good idea. I would try and build a course and this course would essentially teach clippers or people who want to create content on how to become affiliates and create content for CodeSpring. So I spent ages filming detailed courses, showing people how to create accounts that are linked to CodeSpring, what sort of content to make. And I started to build out a WAP community for all of this. I poured hours into this marketing strategy with no clue whether it would even work at all. Now, at the same time, I actually got approached by a guy called Jordan who said he would give me a hand. He had seen that I was trying to hire clippers to come in and create content. And he said, look, if you hire me, I've got millions of views. I can get you some views and we can see if this is going to work. So I thought, you know, what's not to lose? This guy was asking for a very small amount of money, just mostly commission based. So if we did well, he would be paid well. If we didn't do well, I wouldn't lose out. So it seemed like a win-win situation. So I actually started the process of bringing him on board to start to grow the team. But obviously for him to create content and all of these clippers, I needed to to get some sort of B-roll content for them to use. And the same thing goes for trying to build this personal brand at the same time. So I spent some time working down on the beach, just filming a bit of content, something that's gonna be eye-catching and interesting. Okay guys, you're not actually gonna believe where I am vibe coding from today. That's right, I'm sitting by the beach and I'm building Code Spring. The goal is to scale it to 250,000 pounds in annual recurring revenue. And today <laughs> we're gonna be vibe coding in this cave. Let me show you the setup. I'll prop you guys here. And that's where I'm coding from. This looks absolutely ridiculous. I have the code here. This is the view. And actually it's quite good because it's cold. Like it's sheltered and I can sit here and code. No, I'm actually joking. I'm here and I'm filming B-roll for basically ad creatives and content so I can basically just make eye-catching content that I can put all over Instagram. And then I want to have enough that I can create content for like the next three to five days. Obviously I'm going to reuse a lot of this content. I want to just get a library of like 500 videos in the end that I can just switch back to and continue using. So that's obviously vibe coding showing the results and then obviously the stuff like by the beach and then obviously in the hammock and that's kind of like what this goal is. Now I know it sounds like everything was going wrong but when I actually look back at it it was so valuable to just actually be zoomed out to have the opportunity just to see everything clearly and see all the things that weren't working because then I had the headspace I had the time to actually think through how to solve it. Having no internet almost forced me to just think through and understand what I needed to do to solve this. Whereas if I'd been stuck in this office I probably would have just been laser focused on trying to fix these small problems that really didn't matter. But the good news was up until this point, we've done about 54,000 pounds so far this year and about nine to 12,000 pounds 
pounds in annual recurring revenue for CodeSpring. Now, if we take the small amount of annual recurring revenue that I'd made up until that point, plus all of the one-time payments I'd made throughout the whole year, this company was currently valued anywhere between 150 to $200,000, which was great, but my goal is to sell this for over a million. So I had obviously got a lot of work to do. So I spent the rest of the month designing new funnels, building new webinars, testing out different paid ad strategies. And then the rest of the time I had available to me was spent trying to build out this market research feature. Okay, so it is now five minutes to six. We're about to get started with the webinar. Prediction from this webinar is 250 pounds. I will be lucky if I make a single sale from this webinar, but that's not really the point. It's more to just test the numbers and see how Hyros tracks and all of that stuff. And then once we can get the creative rewards going, we'll start to be able to scale this and then I can focus back on content. There's loads of other stuff that's been going on, but I will let you know how the webinar does. I'll probably film just as I get started. And then obviously I'll show you at the end the results and I'll show you all the tracking and analytics and all that stuff. Unfortunately, I should have done this for my previous webinar which was a lot more interesting than this one but this gives you a rough idea and obviously I'm sitting here with that as my view which is pretty cool uh, anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna get into the zone until it finally got to the time I had to leave. And it was a weird experience because for me, being in Greece for a month was this horribly stressful time where nothing was really getting done. I felt like everything was falling apart. I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing to save everything. But on the other hand, I had the opportunity to zoom out, to relax a little bit, to be in an environment which would actually allow me to sort of understand where I needed to take this. Actually looking back on it, that latter half of that was the most important side of it. Being in Greece, having the opportunity just to think can zoom out and understand who am I trying to help? What is this product trying to do? And where are we trying to take it? And since then, everything has just skyrocketed. It has gone absolutely crazy. And I've got a lot of exciting stuff to share on what happened once I got back to London.